Welcome to the Midsummer's Music Friends of Old Concert. I'm Norman Gilliland. We'd like to thank some people for helping to make this concert possible, and they include Dave and Nancy Borghese, and also Nancy Hauser and Jerry Randall. We'd also like to thank the Donald and Carol Kress Pavilion for the space in which these concerts take place. You can get complete program notes about this concert and others by going to midsummersmusic.com and pressing on the virtual events button and there you will see complete program notes, all the background on the pieces that you'll be hearing. You're going to want to participate in the gala fundraising event that takes place on October 10th. It'll be hosted by Eric Lewis and will include 10 violins decorated by various Door County artists. And you can bid on those. You can also see them by going to midsummersmusic.com and pressing on the events button. You can also see them at various art galleries around Door County. And remember, you can make a tax deductible donation to Midsummer's Music by going to that same website, midsummersmusic.com. Anton Reicha was a friend and a direct contemporary of Beethoven. They were both born in 1770. And uh, the Czech-born Reicha eventually became a French citizen. Early on in life, he was not only a friend of Beethoven, but they may have actually shared rooms at one point. And that meant also a lot of shared conversations about music and innovation. Now, Reicha also was a mathematician, and that may well account for his interests in some things that were considered avant-garde in his time, and perhaps in our time as well in some cases, uh, such as polytonality and microtonal music and polyrhythmic music. All of those you can find in Reicha's music. However, uh, they uh, did not sell that well with his uh, audiences at the time. And speaking of selling, Reicha's reputation kind of evaporated after his death in 1836 because for some reason he resisted the publication of his music uh, perhaps concerned about copyright piracy, which was a big problem in the early years of the 19th century. His reputation rests mainly on 25 wind quintets, but what we'll hear is going to be a quintet for strings and clarinet, so somewhat different among the works of Reicha. It consists of an opening allegro, and the second movement is a pastoral siciliano, followed by a minuet, and more about minuets later. And then there's also a lively finale, all of these providing an avenue for the clarinet to show off his virtuosity. It was a time when the clarinet was undergoing some improvements. I witnessed the works slightly earlier of Mozart for clarinet, and then at the same time, Carl Maria von Weber was writing music for clarinets as they improved and clarinetists became more virtuosic. You'll also hear, though, in addition to the clarinet, an almost symphonic effect of those four string players. Our performers include Dan Juan, clarinet, David Perry and Ann Palin, violins, Sally Chisholm, viola, and Greg Sauer, cello. This is the Clarinet Quintet in F by Anton Reicha. Thank you.
That was the clarinet quintet in F by Anton Reicha. We don't know exactly when he wrote it, but it was published actually during his lifetime, very late in his lifetime in 1829. Our performers were violinist David Perry and Ann Palin, violist Sally Chisholm, cellist Greg Sauer, and the clarinetist was Dan Juan. Thanks for tuning into our concert today. And remember, you can make a tax-deductible donation at midsummersmusic.com to keep these concerts flowing from year to year. I'm Norman Gilliland.